Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Los Panos Talk. My name is Justin Collins. Tonight's episode, I'm going to be telling you about the results of the special 2021 November election that had to do with the school board district or area one. And I'll be giving you the results and a little bit of a breakdown in just a moment, right after a brief message from our sponsor. And we're back. Thanks for watching. So once again, like I said, this is about the school board election that took place earlier this year because the school district couldn't come to a decision as to appoint someone. Now, keep in mind, this election had a hefty price tag. And so one would hope that there was a high voter turnout, but actually voter turnout was exceedingly low. Now with that, let's get to the results. And the winner is... Gene Lieb, uh, by the skin of his teeth, he wins with 225 votes to Alma Fabian's 208 votes and three per people wrote in votes. Now, let's talk a little bit about what that means and those numbers. So out of the entire uh, district that could have voted eligibly, there was 3,361 eligible voters. Out of that, however, only 436 people cast their vote, which means that voter turnout was about 12.9%. So in other words, a little bit more than one in 10 people actually voted in this election. The board was split. Uh, it was three to three, and they couldn't make a decision as to whether to pick Gene or to pick Alma. And when you look at these results, you have to say that the people seem largely split because it was a very narrow and close race. But Gene won and he wins by 17 votes, 17 votes. And the thing I just want to reiterate here is that it's not a lot of votes, right? And so you as an individual, if you like Gene, if you didn't like Gene, if you liked Alma, it doesn't matter. The point I'm simply making is this, your vote counted. It would have counted and it could have made a difference. You and your family voting could have given him a larger lead or could have caused the other person to win. Individual votes matter a lot at the local level. And I've been saying this over and over again. If we go back to 2020, there was a school district election, the one that Mark Benton won. She only won by three votes out of over a thousand votes. The race between Tom Free and Paul Yanis for mayor was incredibly close. The difference was only 32 votes out of 13,000. And so while I'm not going to lie to you and tell you that your vote uh, matters uh, crucially in a presidential election or even a governor election or even something like Congress, but I will tell you that at the local letter level, your vote counts for a lot. And I mean a lot. So if nothing else, pay attention to your local politics, pay attention to what's going on and vote. Because here's the truth of the matter right now. This election decided who's going to be the president. Gene Leap will now take over that seat. And with that being said, that will end up giving four votes to Anthony Pereira, who will then become the president of the board. I guarantee that's what's going to happen. And so the entire fate of this whole outcome for the whole board, for the whole direction of the school district was decided by about 400 people, 400 people, because most people didn't care. Most people didn't pay attention. Many people probably didn't even know there was an election going on, even though it was mailed directly to your house. 90% of people didn't have the time to check one of the two of the bubbles. And see, this is one of the reason why 
local level politicians and local officials don't care when they do something crazy or bad or offensive because they realize so few people pay attention, so few people vote that really they they don't really mean to win your support because you're not you don't vote anyway. I know I'm sounding mean and I'm sounding harsh, but it's really disappointing to see an election of this importance of this magnitude and so few people voted so there you have it in a nutshell the fate and the future for the next two to three years was for a population of over forty thousand people was determined by about 400 and with that being said Congratulations, Gene. You both ran good campaigns and you now deserve your rest. And for Gene, now the real work begins. And as time goes on, we'll see, just like any of the other school board members, how he does and how everyone else does and what changes are going to be coming. And if you keep watching Los Banos Talk, I'll keep you up to date on all of it and what's going on in our local community, what's going on in our local elections and local politics. And you don't have to be reliant anymore on Facebook or Instagram news feed to get your news. You can get it directly from the source at LosBanosTalk.com by simply subscribing. Once again, my name is Justin Collins, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. 